Well, first of all, the church is made up of the living stones, which are all the people. And I feel very much at home here in Chicago. There's a lot of wonderful people here. And it's a great privilege and a joy for me to be able to serve here. It had a fire earlier in the 70s that destroyed the really fantastic 1920s interior. And the Institute came and they'd made great progress in restoring it and growing a congregation when there was the fire in 2015, which burned, burned the roof. When the fire occurred, uh, the building and property was owned by the Archdiocese of Chicago. And then in late February of uh, 2016, uh, the Archdiocese of Chicago signed over the, uh, uh, the property, gave the property ownership to uh, the Institute of Christ the King. In the biblical tradition, a fire has always been seen as a test, a test which um, God allows to happen in order to purify us and to make us better. Of course, it's a very um, upsetting thing uh, emotionally to see um, you know, so many uh, people's uh, work um, you know, go up in smoke, literally. So much of people sacrifices their investment um, into this building to bring it back. At the same time, um, this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for us to, um, in that uh, Chicago way, uh, to rise from the ashes. So today, uh, we've been able to raise $1.8 million uh, toward our, uh, our, our phase one goal of $3 million. Uh, the first uh, phase is to uh, put the roof back on the shrine, uh, which means changing out all the steel trusses. So it's a big project. Um, and also to do essential masonry repairs, especially to the upper part of the building and the tower. Um, so our goal is to have the roof on, uh, complete phase one uh, by uh, uh, winter of 2017. Phase two is to the point where we can reach occupancy of the building. So that's air conditioning, heating, electrical, plumbing, fire protection, um, everything that we need to make the building an occupiable building, um, but the inside of it will be a blank canvas. So phase three will be the architectural decor of the building, making it a palladial styled church on the inside of it, putting the decor back into it, the sanctuary, the altars, everything, the stained glass, everything that makes it um, feel like a church. This is literally an institution investing millions of dollars. And not just that the institute is investing this, but that we have donations literally from scores of people that add up to millions of dollars. And all of these people are saying, this neighborhood, this church, this congregation, this community is worth investing in. And that's very important. In a way, we've almost already done the impossible. That, I mean, the Archdiocese applied for the demolition permit. They obtained the demolition permit. They were the legal owner. They had every right to demolish this building if they determined that was the best thing for their organization. Um, and they didn't. They were hopefully you know, moved and inspired by the outpouring of support. I would say we really um, reach out to a great number, a great diversity of people, and also through the, the cultural programs we have, be it the concerts, be it sometimes lectures that we have here um, on sacred architecture, on Chicago architecture, um, be it also the, uh, the meeting place here where our neighbors meet here, our, our block club meets here, and different community groups meet here as well at the Shrine. And um, we, really, um, we really offer a whole a whole variety of things here that are important to a great number of people. Um, and so we thank um, um, all of the viewers. Uh, we ask them to uh, be, be willing to assist us. They can visit our uh, GoFundMe page, uh, Shrine Fire Fund, or visit our landmark website, which is shrinelandmark.org, shrinelandmark.org, so they can be um, informed on uh, the week-to-week -week, uh, updates on the building and come to know our past history as well. We're also very active on Instagram, uh, on Facebook, um, and on Twitter um, at Shrine Landmark. Um, so um, we welcome everyone to be part of this project, which is so important for our city of Chicago. Uh -huh.